In problem number 66 of section 3.2, we look at uh, a company making an investment of $200,000. And we assume that the most that they could potentially lose is just the original investment of 200000 where they might gain as much as, make, might make a profit of as much as 700000 So we have two analysts looking at this situation. One thinks that the profit is uniformly distributed um, on the interval of negative 200000 to 700000 uh, so in other words, uniformly distributed, meaning that uh, each potential profit has equal probability. So the, the probability of um, profit between, you know, say, $10 and um, zero, or be be the probability of losing $10 to, nothing, to gaining nothing is the same as the probability of, say, making half a million dollars to half a million uh, in $10. And analyst B thinks that the probability density function um, for the profit is uh, F2 of X uh, equals X squared over 500,000. Um, excuse me, over uh, 117 million. So the first thing we want to uh, figure out is what is the corresponding probability density function for um, analyst A's assumption. Well, anytime we have a probability density function that's uniformly distributed, it's on some interval A, B, it's going to look like this. So the fun PDF F1 of X is up here. So it's always just going to be a constant function because the probability at any given point is, well, it's the same. And we also know that uh, the probability over the entire interval um, has to be equal to 1. I mean, we know for certain that the most it can lose is 200,000, the most it can gain is 700,000. So uh, the height of the of the function, or its you know, value at any point that it takes between a and b, has to be equal to 1 over b minus a. So from this, we can deduce that f1 of x is equal to 1 over 700,000 minus a minus 200,000, so 1 over 900,000. Write that over here. Now, in the second part, we're asked to find the area between the two probability density functions from 500 to 700. So, we're asked to find integral from 500 to 700 of F1, the absolute value of F1 minus F2. And this is just equal to um, absolute value of, well, F1 is 1 over 900,000. And F2 is minus X squared over 117 million. And if you look at a graph of this between uh, 500 and 700, you'll see that, uh, well, this, it's always negative from 500 to 700, indicating that, well, this is, um, the second term must be greater than the first term. So this is equal to, um, I'll just write this out. If we switch the signs and um, write it as a single term, we get 900,000 uh, x squared uh, minus 117 million over 900 million times 117 million. So you can see the numbers aren't exactly working out too nicely, but if you have some kind of 
computer software package that you can just plug this integral into or a calculator that's great. If not, you can just kind of pull most of the numbers out and the actual function that you're integrating is just x squared, so it's not too difficult. So if you go through and actually you compute this integral, you'll find that it's uh, approximately equal to 0 0.62. And that's you know, a pretty good thing that we get a value between 0 and 1 because I mean, ultimately this is you know, probability density function. We're looking essentially the probability that the difference of F1 and F2 is between 500 and 700. So for the actual interpretation in terms of um, the analyst predictions of what this 0.62 probability means, well, as I said, we're looking at the probability that the difference in the two functions is um, between 500 and 700. So the interpretation is that um, there's 62% chance that the analyst's predictions will, dif or will differ by at least 500, but no more than 700. That, so that the analysts will differ rather that their predictions will differ by an amount between 500 uh, and 700. And note that this doesn't actually say anything about what the actual outcome of the investment will be. We're just looking at the relation between the two predictions themselves. Um, so there's a 62% chance not that the analyst, one analyst will be right or wrong or that one of the analysts will be $500 um, off from the original error, but just that the two analysts themselves will disagree by amounts somewhere between $500 and $700.